Hello everyone. My name is Ankit Verma. The topic for today is design learning system. We must design the learning system because learning system must be perfect and efficient. When we design a machine learning model, that model automatically learn from the experience. So learning system should be perfect and efficient so it can learn very easily and give the accurate results now we are learning the steps to design a learning system here the first step is choose training experience experience is also called data so here we are choosing training data training data impact on success or failure of model if we properly use the training data and train the model so it will become a success but if we are not training properly then model will become a failure there are three attributes of training data the first attribute is type of feedback training data must provide direct or indirect feedback regarding choices here direct means immediate and indirect means after some time we are taking the example of a chess to design a chess game we need to train this model using training data it must provide us the direct and indirect feedback let us suppose if i am moving this pawn then this move will be useful or not so it can tell us immediately means direct feedback or it can tell us later on that is indirect feedback so based on the feedback we can do the exact move next attribute under choosing training experience is degree of control it is degree to which learner will control training data To understand this we are taking the example of chess let us suppose that we are training the chess algorithm this model is playing again and again and learning out of it after so much learning this model is now controlling the data and also it is controlling the complete chess game so we should decide at which degree learner can control the data it is partial or it is fully controlling the data next attribute of choosing training experience is distribution of examples training data must represent distribution of examples from which performance is measured here when we are training the chess model in that case they must try more and more combination more situations and multiple examples so that they can give the best performance and it can be easily measured so these are the three attributes of choosing training experience or data now the second step to design learning system is choose target function based on the knowledge and using the target function algorithm check next legal moves so in the chess let us suppose that the opponent is moving the pawn so this movement of pawn is the knowledge to defeat the opponent we has to defeat the king so this is our target that we can achieve using target function so based on the knowledge that movement of pawn and target function that means defeating the king the algorithm check the next legal move here this side computer algorithm is playing so here it will see the target is king and this movement so it will try that nearby pawn should be moved so these are the legal moves that is decided by target function now the third step 
in designing learning system is choose representation of target function. Linear equation, hierarchical graph representation, tabular form, etc. are used to represent target function. Here in the chess, the target function is to defeat this king. And for that, we use some representation. And that representation can be in linear equation, heretical graph representation, or tabular form, or any other form. So using that, algorithm will decide that these are the different legal moves. Now the fourth step in designing learning system is choose function approximation algorithm. Approximate the learning from previous experiences and decide next optimum move for more success rate. Here in the chess, this side we are having algorithm and on the other side, we are having opponent, which is some player. Here the player is playing chess with computer algorithm. This algorithm has played so many games. So it is having various experience. So based on the learning from previous experience, it approximate them. So their average is taken and it decide the next optimum move. So here the three legal moves are there and based on the experience and their approximation, one move is decided as the optimum move and this optimum move will give the maximum success rate. Now the fifth step for designing a learning system is Final design. After various examples, success, failures, correct and incorrect decisions, the final design is created. Now this algorithm is played so many times with various players. So it takes so many examples. Many times it is having success. Many times failures. Some correct and incorrect decisions. And afterward, the final design is created. So using these steps, we can design the learning system. That's all for today. Thank you.